Let's get more now with uh, Jean Pisani Ferry. He's the director of uh, think tank Bruegel and uh, former economic advisor to the former French finance minister, uh, minister as Dominique Strauss Kahn and Christian Sauter. He joins us now live from Brussels. Uh, Jean Pisani Ferry, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Um, you know, how much confidence should we have now that this uh, aid package is on the table? It looks like Greece is going to take it. Are we, is Greece out of the woods, in other words? Well, it's a difficult week, obviously. Uh, it's a difficult time because, first of all, there's the IMF uh, conducting a, a mission there uh, to find out uh, what exactly is the situation, uh, how uh, the program should be structured, and, um, and uh, it, it lengthens the time dimension uh, in comparison to the early uh, commitment by the EU uh, for, for one year. Now we're talking uh, about uh, a longer-term horizon. Um, we'll see uh, soon what are the conclusions of the of the IMF, uh, and uh, I think everybody is expecting uh, to see what they, what they will say. Uh, at the same time, there is an electoral campaign in Germany that interferes uh, with the discussion uh, because uh, there is, as uh, you said, hostility um, uh, in German public opinion about this uh, this what they call a bailout. Um, so, so difficult time, yes. It is a difficult time, of course, and, uh, well, you know, it's not just the immediacy. You're saying further down the line, how much more money will Greece need? Well, that we don't know. Certainly more. Uh, you know, uh, Axel Weber has mentioned 80 billion. Uh, certainly it's a multi-year package. Um, we are starting from this 13.6 uh, deficit. Uh, even if the, the Greeks succeed in bringing it down by four percentage points, that's still 9.6. That's still much, much uh, uh, higher than anything that uh, would uh, keep the debt ratio uh, stable, especially with an economy sinking. Uh, so this interplay between the debt dynamics and the economic dynamics at the core of the issue, and it's going to take uh, several years, and it's going to take um, you know, much more structural measures than, than the ones uh, that you can envisage for a one-year adjustment. We're we speaking really of uh, re-establishing sustainability and conditions for economic growth in that And country? effectively, what you are arguing is that there has to be a, an entire overhaul of the Greek economy here. Well, yes, uh, uh, certainly an uh, overhaul of public finances, and, uh, and the economy also has a number of structural problems, has, you know, has had those problems for a long time. Greece was a story of, uh, of, of slow convergence or no convergence, of uh, structural funds uh, allocated to that country that were not used properly. Um, and so uh, this has to be fixed now. I mean, that's clear that it's not about just uh, patching uh, uh, up the, the, the problem. It's about uh, much more structural uh, responses. And competitiveness as well. That's going to be key. Competitiveness is key because uh, throughout those, those years, inflation has been too high. The uh, country has been losing competitiveness, uh, starting also from a situation where the economy was not, uh, was not strong in terms of the, of the export sector. So this has to be reestablished also. Yeah, it's a major challenge.